Now for the record, I cannot play the music here on YouTube, but I just want to, I did post the videos with the music on my blog, but I just want to show y'all something. Now, Black China has been in the studio recently with Floyd A1 Bentley and Lyrica Anderson. Now, of course, Floyd A1 Bentley has worked with everybody, I mean, you know, superstars like Chris Brown and whatnot, producing records, and then, of course, Lyrica Anderson has written for people like Beyonce. So their list of credits is just astounding. You know, Lyrica Anderson is, of course, of course, a songwriter and singer, and Floyd A1 Bentley, her husband, is a music producer, and, of course, they're working together on her music and everything. But it looks like Black China is working with them. I mean, this is going to be great for her career. A lot of people were sleeping on her. Discount. Well, a lot of people were also sleeping with her, but that's a whole nother story, Jesus. I wasn't one of them, so I'm not going to hate. Shout out to China. But anyways, my lord, so, you know, uh, a lot of people thought that Black China's career was going to be like not even 15 seconds. Of, I mean, her music career, that is, wasn't even going to be 15 seconds of fame. Not Forget 15 minutes, not even 15 seconds of fame. They figured that, you know, she's going to put out one song, that she's going to flop, and that was going to be it. But if she's working with people like Lyrica Anderson and Floyd A1 Bentley, she has a chance, y'all. So everybody who hated on her before even hearing the music, you know, everybody who discounted her, everybody who slandered her good music, potentially good musical name. I just want to say this, y'all. This is why you can't count anybody out. Think about it. Black China is beautiful. She's famous and she's rich. So she does have access to people that you don't have access to. So all of you people who thought her music was just going to suck like a fuck, well, psh, it, it, it just might be some of the best music of 2017. I mean, music sucks now anyway, so the bar is very low. So it's not like she would have to do much to impress us. Let's just be honest here. I mean, we, we'd even accept a little bit right now because it's such a damn drought. It's kind of like, you know, uh, music fans feel as if they were stranded in one of these hurricanes, like Hurricane Harvey or Hurricane Irma or something like that. Because it's like we're just left, like, sitting in water without water to drink other than the dirty water that we're wading in you know what i mean uh, that's, that's that's what we feel like when it comes to music it's like i want something to drink but the only thing to drink is this dirty water like that's i know that's a terrible analogy but y'all y'all know what i'm saying though jesus and you're like damn well this water got diseases in it this water got uh, the kodak black plague in it you know this this co <laughs> you fuck around swimming this water you get the Birdman flu or something you never know you might come down with some whack-ass disease so it's like you know that's all we got right now you know what I'm saying and we're waiting for like a fresh shipment uh something to sip on so we can rehydrate our, ourselves kind of like how i need to hydrate myself after i see lyrica and black china with their fine selves but anyways man shout out to these two beautiful ladies you know i can't wait to hear what type of beautiful music that they're working on you know you guys know i'm team pretty girl for life and you know i'm pretty sure that black china's music is going to be way better than what people thought it would be you know uh, it doesn't take much for a pretty girl to impress me uh, but anyways y'all only she gotta do is brush her hair and sometimes she doesn't even have to do that <sighs> anyways y'all let me know what you think about all this fineness in this music that's coming out below and do you think that black china i'll make a separate video about it but do you think black china and lyrica anderson might have some sort of um <clears throat> Lication going on I'll just call it because if you think about it well I, I, I don't remember Black China's name being linked to any women or Lyric Anderson's and I never would think like if you would have asked me before me do you think Lyric Anderson likes chicks you know I would have said no why are you asking me that but I don't know uh, after seeing them together and the chemistry that they have I mean they look like they kind of love each other you know I, I don't know what's going on with that my lord so I'll make a separate video about it though, Jesus, if I remember, if I had the time. If I'm not smashing one of my haters' mamas at the moment, I'll make the video, my lord. Anyways, Jesus, let me know what y'all think about it all below. Be sure to subscribe to the Meat Magazine YouTube channels. Visit meatmagazine.blogspot.com for more. Follow me on Twitter at Meat Magazine, Meat Magazine 7 on Google+, Meat Magazine blog and Instagram. Be sure to hit the notification button. It's right next to the subscribe button. It looks like a bell. Once you click that motherfucker, you'll be sending alerts to be notified when new videos get posted. Jesus, am I tripping here when I think there's something maybe going on between these two pretty ladies? And also, what do you guys think about their music? Do you think that the music is going to be bumping, bumping like some banging Cray Sean 2010, 2011 type tracks? Or do you think it's going to be garbage? Let me know below. <coughs> Meat Magazine.